How's it going, everyone? This is China Corner, and we're here for another narration from the Generation Showdown. I'm not live recording here. If you want to see my live narration, definitely hit that up because that is a very interesting competition, and it was just a very interesting experience to have my battles live recorded here. If you're wondering about my score, I finished with a 15-15 ratio there. So 15 wins and 15 losses. I'm not complaining. I played a lot better than I thought I would. Just saying. But I feel like posting some more matches from my first this recorder. And I hope you all like them. Alright, let's take a look at my team construction. We see that I have Focus Sash Yami Palm with Fake Out and Last Resort. Gosh, that's a lot of priority that you see there, because alongside that, I also have Choice Band Mammal Swine with Ice Shard and Icicle Clash Earthquake to hit a lot of multiple Pokemon here, since it is a doubles tournament. And then Gale Wings Talon Flame for Brave Bird Shenanigans and Roost and this Brave Bird Fleblitz U-Turn, I believe, on this particular campaign set. And then we have Defensive Coffee Grievous. Very awesome. Now, for my opponent here, he's obviously going to bring Primo Grudon. And when I saw that, it's like, man, I feel like I don't have anything for Primo Grudon. Because I can't burn it. It's a ground fire type. And, yeah, that's pretty bad. And actually, I faced a lot more Primo Grudon than Primo Kyogre, which is interesting, in my own opinion there. Alongside Primo Grudon here, we also have Superior with Contrary, and then Slacking and Shuckle. Slacking, I was a little bit worried about too. But it has Chonk, so I'm not going to complain on that. But it's... Overall, a very tough Pokemon to deal with. And Shuckle, I wasn't really sure what to expect from it. But what you're going to find out is that it's going to support the slacking. So, without further ado, I hope you all like this narration. I'm going to get this going for you guys. Hit that like button if you enjoy. We'll see how this battle goes. In my favor here, I guess. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to bring a lot of priority to this team here. To this battle, actually. And... Yeah, like I said, Shuckle and Slacking are here. I switch out, and I go in the car for Grigus because I figured, okay, he might go for that normal type move, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to fake out anyway. But I wanted to get car for Grigus in here. And then I see Gastro Acid. Gastro Acid is a very, very annoying move because that nullifies Slacking's ability. Now you see how bulky this slacking is, because I went for that last resort, and last resort is a very strong move coming from my Amby Pong. And since I figured, okay, he might be a choice banded variant and not a Lumberry set, so I went for the Will O' Wisp, and that worked out. That means slacking is a lot less threatening. That leaves with Shuckle to work around with, because he toxics me. And I don't have that much recovery on this Cofagrigus. I don't see why he would run rest on it, but I guess it would work out here. Now, fortunately, I'm going to finish off slacking, but that also means that my opponent could bring in Primo Grudon or Superior. I lock off his leftovers, which is also very nice to have on that turn there. Always nice to get rid of leftovers on bulkier things. It would be nice to burn it too. Now that that's out of the way here. Unfortunately, both of my Pokemon are poisoned and that's going to come into play a little bit later. Be on the lookout for that. Primo Grudon is here. Like I said, I don't have anything for Primo Grudon. Like, I have a lot of options for Primo Kyogre, but not this big beast. Primo Grudon has Desolate Land here. Desolate Land? Is that how you say it? Yeah. And 
I wanted to put some damage onto this guy right here, which is why I went for the last resort again. And that does a good amount. Now, Eruption hits both Pokemon on the field. And that is very unfortunate because I lose my Ami Palm. And here I finally go for that Will O Wisp. He goes for Infestation afterwards. I'm not really sure why. He was probably expecting me to switch out. Here I get the Mummy ability activated, which is very, very nice, I guess. If you had a berry, then it's nullified. But like I said, I went for knockoff and knock off his leftovers. So, in the end, I don't think that turn didn't matter too much. But he got burn damage. Not going to worry about that. Uh, here, I I go down to the infestation, which sucks. Because now I lose both Pokemon. I'm like, gosh darn it, why did this happen to me? But this also gives me a free turn to go in a mammal swine in town flame. I go for Ice Shard. And here's where I figured that it was part fire. Because I was like, really? That did no damage? I thought it was just pure ground. But guess what? I was wrong. So that worked out for my opponent, I guess. He goes for another eruption. I have Thick Fat and I also have Talonflame Heart Fire here. Very nice to have. Talonflame is there to check Grugong, I guess. But not really. It's here for Gale Wings support. And he tosses me again. And that is very, very unfortunate. I do have a Citrus Berry on this Talonflame. And I also have Roost. But these are my last two Pokemon, which means I can't switch out. Again, I'm going for Ice Shard just to put some more damage onto the Grulong and also hit the Grulong with a Flare Blitz. I'm like, you know what? This is the most threatening thing on the field. His eruption here, man, this thing is probably specs because he keeps going for it and it's not doing anything. Again, Toxic's coming in my way. We need to do something about this Shuckle. Because Shuckle is obviously very annoying. But on the bright side, we get to take care of Groovon. And that's really nice. But guess what? The burn! That's right, that's how this works out. I will whisper. And I'm like, you know what? I'm so worried about Groovon and I also forget about the burn damage. That's just what happens sometimes in doubles, because you're focusing on one guy, and then you're focusing on the other, and it's like, what happens now? But guess what? We have taken out the Shuckle from the burn, and Groovon, because of Ice Shard. Awesome sauce. That leaves with just Superior, and there's really nothing that Superior can do to hit both Talonflame and Mamoswine. I say this battle is in the bag. Yeah, right? Because I, well, I lose Mount Swine, but guess what? We have priority in the form of Brave Bird. I was crossing my fingers that I would not get KO'd by the Brave Bird recoil. Let's see how this works out. Yes, we take out Superior, but will I live the recoil? Hopefully. Alright, nice. That's that is awesome, and I defeat my opponent here. So, that was the battle right there. No legendaries on my end, which is very interesting. And I defeated my opponent, just like that. Battle number three is coming up here next time, guys. I hope you all liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, trainers.